Hi family, today we will be making ackee and saltfish fresh from the tree. Well, the ackee is from the tree and not the saltfish. The ackee has already been picked, but let's head to the backyard. I am going to show you the tree where we get the ackee from. All right, so we have five, actually six banana trees right here. They're growing in my yard. This is so amazing to me. I'm from the States, I'm from the South in a cold climate, so we couldn't grow banana trees. So this is so dope to me. I have banana trees in the yard. All right, so tonight's dinner will be coming from the tree. I have a cherry tree right here. Um, we actually picked some of them off, but they are so sweet, good for juicing, very good. All right, next to the cherry tree, we have a pomegranate tree. They're actually ripe and need to be picked. We have one up here that has busted open. I'm gonna come out here later and pick them off the tree. And here is our ackee tree where tonight's dinner will be coming from. Okay, so we have to pick the ones that are open. So this is the tree where the dinner is coming from. All right, so Let's head to the supermarket. We're gonna get out of here, head over to the supermarket and get the rest of the items that we need to complete tonight's dinner. Let's go. All right, guys, we have now made it to the supermarket. This is a very expensive store. This is one of those stores where you just come pick up one or two items. This store is for the rich. I personally do not shop here. It's located in my neighborhood, so it's very convenient. But you have to be a little on the wealthy side to shop in this place. I go to the supermarket in the hood, but I only needed some oil, onions, and the salt fish. So I'm gonna grab those. I'm gonna do a price comparison on these items and grab those and go. All right, so we have the oil. It's about 533 Jamaica dollars. That's about $3 in US. All right, I don't care about a name brand. We just need some oil. So let's get this and head out and look for the saltfish. All right, where is the saltfish? Here it is. Let's do a quick price check on the saltfish. And we have it for $734. That's about $5 in U.S. money. Okay, so now we have the items that we need. We can get out of this expensive store and head home and get it popping. Let's go. This one, the Aki is ready. This is what it looks like. So when you want it, um, we take it out. This is this. Mm -hmm. But you can't eat the black seeds, no, right? No, no, the seeds are just, um, you throw it away or it can be replanted as well. So you can get more trees. Oh, you can replant the, those. Yeah, yeah. But aren't they like poisonous? Uh, the only time it is poisonous is when it is um, closed, it's not ready to be eaten so so that's the ackee so you gotta take ackee. but so you I'm gotta gonna, take gonna the black part yes off. i'm gonna clean the the seeds off mm. and take out um these stuff out of it oh right. so let me show you what i'm gonna do so that's how you clean it yes this is how it is clean you don't want that in it so once it, mm -hmm. you're ready. Nice. And you can even do it like this as well. Turn it mm -hmm. and take the top off. Open. Get all of this stuff on. And then after that, you got to wash it and then boil it, but not boil it too it's hard. Too soft. I mean, now don't boil it too long because you don't want yes. it to be too soft. That's good. All right, y'all, we'll be back when we cook it. Yeah, when we are cooking it up, we're going to see what's going on. 
We now have our ackee fresh from the tree, washed and put in the pot for boiling. Remember, we cannot boil this too long. We don't want it soft. We don't want it to scramble like eggs. So you can do a fork test, stick the fork in, and this is good to go. So we want to drain it. Our Jamaican friend said this is how the Jamaicans use a strainer. <laughs> we want to drain it or put it in a strainer to remove the excess water from boiling. And we have cooked ackee. All right, we prepared some green peppers and onions and a piece of thyme. So we want to chop these up, put those in the pot. All right, we're boiling our salt fish. The salt fish has to be boiled because it's very salty. Okay, so we wanna boil it twice actually, so it's natural for those bubbles to come in the water. All right, so this is the first boiling. We're gonna add another pot of water and boil it again. Sorry about the steam, guys. So we're gonna do a second boiling on this. All right, so we got the salt fish boiled the second time and we are ready to debone. So what we're doing is we're removing the bones, the scales and the skin from the salt fish and we are gonna put it in little flakes so that we can get ready to saute it with the onions and the peppers and the thyme. All right, so let's go ahead and get this done so that we can get it sauteed and in the pan. All right, so we need to saute the onions, green peppers, and thyme. So that's what we're gonna do. Remember, we don't need a bunch of seasoning. We're not using seasoning because the salt fish is very salty. So we boiled it down to take some of the salt out, but the salt fish provides all of the seasoning that we will need. He did add a touch of ketchup because Jamaicans like to cook with tomatoes and we did not have any tomatoes. All right, so let's go ahead and throw in our salt fish after we've sauteed these vegetables. He is very heavy on the pepper, very heavy on the pepper. Jamaicans cook with a lot of spice. All right, so we're gonna stir in and saute the ackee along with the salt fish and the onions and we're gonna cover this up and we're gonna let it cook for about eight minutes we want to go ahead and stir in all of the peppers and all of the fish because the fish adds in that good flavor and seasoning cover for about eight minutes and we will be ready to go All right, white rice makes everything better or either rice and peas, your choice. Tonight we have chosen to have white rice with this meal. So we will have ackee and saltfish with white rice. This meal was so amazing, so tasty, seasoned to perfection. I would like to say thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, and most of all, subscribe as I navigate through this adventurous island and take you on my day-to-day -day journeys as I learn to cook and learn to survive on the island. Thanks, guys.